when you worry about what other people think you are in a prison which makes you feel locked up right you don't feel free so we're already giving ourselves freedom liber liberation from not having to die our roots anymore only to be stuck with worrying about what people think i feel like when you stop dyeing your hair you unlock that cell and you're like nah i'm okay i'm not gonna stay in here on my own you have the key right around your neck to get you out of there. And this is another thing that you may not realize for those of you who decide not to dye your hair during this time of staying at home or you guys are less than a year in, you never know who you are inspiring to embrace themselves and love themselves more by the decision that you're making. You guys have showed me that I just made a choice for something that felt comfortable for me. I, I remember reading somebody saying it wasn't anything big or uh, historical that they decided not to dye their hair anymore. But just by making that choice, it helped others to feel comfortable with where they're at. I didn't always think like this. I was definitely, before I made the decision, very hesitant. And even the first couple of months of making the decision, I still, it took me time to recondition my mind. It's true that from the messages you see all around you, even when I first started here on YouTube and I would look up stuff about gray hair, I would find videos about how people wanted to cover their gray hair. So what's very nice about everybody sharing their journey and being so comfortable in their own skin, authentic is another word I could think of about this gray hair journey. We're reconditioning our minds and many have said that by similar to going natural, those who are deciding to go gray is opening up this conversation of options. Not everybody's gonna wanna do it and that's fine because we all have a choice, um, free will to do what feels comfortable for us. And of course, it's not to say that just because someone dyes their hair, they don't love themselves. I'm not making that blanket statement, but usually a lot of people who are wanting to go gray are at that point, they don't wanna do it anymore, but they're scared. You know, and so a part of the fear is confronting those beliefs that we had that we bought into. And that's where that liberating feeling comes from, right? Besides the fact that, oh my gosh, I don't have to worry about, even when I put in that gray gel, I have to tell you guys, <laughs> it was awesome because it gave me a uniform look, but because of the way I sweat and my hair grows, you could see the new growth coming in. And I, it just, further confirmed for me that I was so glad that I was done with the dye. Like just let my baby come in as she is. There are some people who have decided not to go gray because they've had a bad reaction to hair color. That has happened to me before and that was not with box hair dye. Mm, it could have been box hair dye. I had went to a salon. I did a box hair dye myself before I went to the person to get my hair straightened. They colored my hair on top of it and then they straightened my hair and something they must have put in my hair to get it to straighten. When I had sweat, it got on my neck and I got such a bad reaction. I can't sit here and say I'm a 100% toxic free person with all of my choices that I use, but I, since going natural, I have, I've been more ingredient conscious and more towards the natural things than before. So I'm thankful for my natural hair journey actually, cause it set me up for the gray hair journey. That not um, relaxing my hair was another freedom. Like I didn't have to worry about scratching my hair and being like, oh no, I'm about to get a touch up. It's, I'm gonna burn or I'm gonna get a scab um, in my scalp. Do you feel that the health of your hair is better since you stopped dyeing your hair. Now I know there are some who mentioned that their hair might be thinning and maybe drier, but overall, especially when in the beginning, give yourself some time too when you are transitioning from gray, there's stages to it. There's getting rid of the dyed hair. Then there's similar to when you go relax, like your hair has also been conditioned and it needs some time to get healthy. Remember the things we mentioned that are also a part of good health, not just products, but your diet, drinking a lot of water can help keep you moisturized. And even I think thoughts make a difference. The thoughts we have about ourselves, I think our body keeps score. I love mirror work, being able to look at yourself in the mirror and kind of making peace with those roots that you see in your hair and 
Maybe if you can't get yourself to look in the mirror and say, oh, I love you, Grey Roots, you can focus on the things you do love. I love my smile. I love my nose. I love my my eyes. Just different things about yourself because we are more than our hair, right? The effort that it takes to focus on the good rather than the things that we can't control put us back in control, right? With anything that's good, you can't necessarily feel like you're going to get the whole mass of people. But I do feel that there are more gray hair videos out there, people sharing their journey than there was when I first started three years ago. I really hope that you were encouraged by this video. I want you to remember at the end of this that self-love is not conditional. Self-love is especially needed when it's difficult. Remember the words that were mentioned here today that describe gray hair journey, freedom, liberation, revolutionary, a crown of beauty, authenticity. Those are all things that you can look forward to from your gray hair journey. Remember to show yourself compassion and I appreciate all of you so much. Those of you who watch this, those of you who comment uh, later on, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video.